cold now. You're cold now. Yeah. Hang on, then. We've got things to do. We've got things to do. What a song. That is, that is superb, isn't it? George Ezra and Paradise on Coast and County Radio. Where now it is time. It is time, my friends. If you've never heard this before, trust me, this is gold. No, it's not. It's platinum. It's platinum. Uh, we're going to play Family Misfortunes with Karen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, she did double it back on me with the help of a listener uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's not going to happen again. It's not going to happen again. Even if you have doubled it back on me and you're going to do questions, I'm not going to let you do it. I'm just going to bang on. Oh, so, you're my hero. Mm, you're so masterful. I'm so manly. Uh, so, uh, here we go. Uh, eight minutes past eight, by the way. Um, yeah, if you haven't heard this before, this is how it works. I've got ten family fortune-style questions in front of me. I'm going to ask Karen each one at high speed. Oh, you're doing your breathing exercises. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask her the questions. She's going to give me what she thinks is the top answer for each one. If she gives me one top answer, one at all, she wins today's star prize. The star prize of her choosing. And it is this week. Um, oh, come back to me on that. Oh, you see, she can't even answer that. Uh, so here we go. Uh, we'll go through your answers uh, before nine o'clock. We have something else to do before we do that. So here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. You... Oh, wait a minute. <coughs> I think I'm, that's better. I'm ready now. You all right? You yeah. sure? Uh -huh. You sure? Yes, okay. thank you. Okay, here we go. Ten questions. Only ten questions this week. The time starts now. Name something that has wheels but doesn't have a motor. Um, uh, roller skates. Name a type of brush. A hairbrush. Name something that gets harder to do when you're older. Walk. Name a famous James. Bond. Name something that a short person would have trouble doing with a tall person. Um, seeing what they see. Oh. <laughs> Name something you do when you stand up after a long aeroplane flight. Um, walk. Name something that a teenager can be nervous about telling their parents. Um, um, tattoos. Name something that runs. A car. Oh. <laughs> Name an occupation where there's very little room for mistakes. Um. Um. Oh, um, a, a surgeon. Thank and you very much. Finally, name a word that women use to describe a good-looking bloke. Fit as. <laughs> we'll uh, log those answers into the computer. We'll see how you've done. Uh, say we'll, we'll go through those answers sometime before nine o'clock. I, I don't know when. Let's move and get, get it on. You get I mean, you know, a, a few moments ago, we played Family Misfortunes with Karen. We're going to do the answers now. We're gonna, she's desperate to know she's won today's prize. What prize have you chosen today? Um, um, a meal out. A meal out. In um, Dubai. No, no, a nice meal out at that place in Bridlington that I like. Um, and, oh. and mm -hmm. a back tickle for you. Oh, I see. So you're thinking that because you're offering something I want, yeah. uh, that you will get a top answer. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Um, here with the, if you don't know how, if you weren't listening a few moments ago, I asked Karen some family fortune style questions. She's given me her answers. One top answer out of ten, and uh, she gets the prize. She gets the prize. Name something that has wheels but doesn't have a motor. You said... Did I say a skateboard? No, you said a roller skate. Oh, you same thing. Mm, it, it was not the top answer. Ah. Uh, top answer was um, a wheel shop. <laughs> Name it will have a wheels, motor somewhere, like no, in the till. No, it doesn't have a motor. motor. No, it doesn't. No. Shut up. Name a type of brush. You said... Hairbrush. Hairbrush. Thank you very was much. Was it the top answer? <laughs> no. Uh, top answer was basil. <laughs> basil bush. Boom, boom. Not now. Uh, name something that gets harder 
to do when you're older? You said walk. Walk. It was the second most popular answer. So, um, name something to do uh, that gets harder when you're. Name something that gets harder to do when you're older. The answer, top answer, was be chosen to appear on Love Island. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Name a famous James. You said... James Bond. James Bond. Second most popular answer. Sorry. Heritage. Huh? The vet. James who? Heritage. Heritage? Armitage. Armitage. Are you saying to me James Herriot? That's it. Oh, Karen. Was that the top answer? No. Oh. Uh, James <laughs> Brackenbury was the top answer. Who's that? I've no idea. It's what the survey said. <laughs> Name something that a short person would have trouble doing with a tall person. I don't know what I said. You said they'd have... Well, the question was, name something that a short person would have well, trouble... I to see what they see. But why... Right, OK. Yeah. OK, whatever. Uh, that was not the top answer. Uh, the answer was to play leapfrog with them. Yeah, I suppose mm. that makes sense. Unless yeah. they suddenly change it to limbo dancing, then perhaps. Uh, name something you do when you stand up after a long aeroplane flight. You said... Walk. Walk. Yeah. Not the top answer. No. <laughs> top answer was yodel. Yodel. Uh, I think the survey was done on a flight to Switzerland. Right, so, uh, so I that, see. That's what was. That, well, that does make sense. Name something that a teenager can be nervous about telling their parents. That they've got a tattoo. That they've got a tattoo. Wrong. No. No. Not the top answer. Name something a teenager can be nervous about telling their parents. Top answer was that they would like to French kiss them both. Wow, Greg. I know, it's, it's the survey. We, we, we surveyed some strange people. Name something that runs. Car. Car, not the top answer. <laughs> top answer was the Limpopo River. <laughs> Name an occupation where there's very little room for mistakes. You said... Surgeon. Surgeon, not the top answer. No. Lollipop lady was the top answer. Well, you can't, if you make a mistake, I mean, wow, that's yeah. sweet. Uh, last chance. Last chance to win the star prize. Okay. Name a word that women use to describe a good-looking bloke. You said... Fit as. Fit as. Is that one word, is it? Yes, it is now. Name a word that women use to describe a good-looking bloke. Does You've never answer? heard it, obviously. Well, 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 you're about to eat... Pie of the humblest kind. Uh, your answer was fit as. Uh huh. Not the top answer. So, uh, the top answer, name a word that uh, women use to describe a good looking bloke. Uh, top answer was Greggles. <laughs> Or we would have accepted <laughs> Greg Scott. Uh, so no top answers there. What are you going to say for yourself? Surprise. It means I can never ever give you a back tickle ever again. Sorry, I've misread that. Um, <laughs> you got the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Back in a moment. Joanne asked the last cobbler about having the heels on her favourite boots repaired. She's now standing proud after a job well done. I mean, look, there, there are the answers. You can't argue with what's in black and white, can you? You can't argue with it. Leather work or key cutting, replacement watch batteries and straps, even blue.